Inflammatory conditions of the breast include acute pyogenic mastitis, tuberculous mastitis, actinomyces infection, ductectasia, fat necrosis, a reaction to breast implants, lymphocytic mastitis and granulomatous mastitis. Acute pyogenic mastitis occurs during the first few weeks of lactation. Bacteria such as Staph aureus enter the breast tissue through cracks around the nipple and this may develop into an abscess. This is the histological appearance of acute pyogenic mastitis with a heavy infiltrate of neutrophil polymorphs in the breast tissue. Lymphocytic mastitis is usually seen in diabetic women although it may be associated with autoimmune diseases. The condition may also predispose to lymphoma. Granulomatous mastitis is characterized by a granulomatous inflammatory infiltrate around breast lobules. The etiology is unknown, but TB does need to be excluded. This is what granulomatous mastitis looks like down the microscope. The ovoid structure here is a granuloma. In this field you can see the inflammation centered around the lobule. Tuberculous mastitis, a condition that is rare in western countries, causes a firm fibrocasis mass to develop that may mimic carcinoma. Here you can see the firm fibrocasis mass in a case of tuberculous mastitis. Actinomyces infection is rare. The infection may be primary or spread from the lung. An abscess develops typically beneath the nipple and this may mimic carcinoma. The purple material in this picture is colonies of actinomyces. Fat necrosis is usually caused by trauma. It creates a hard irregular mass. And clinically and mammographically it mimics cancer. The condition tends to occur in obese women, usually after the menopause. This is the histological appearance of a case of fat necrosis. The central area of necrotic fat is surrounded by an area of fibrosis. It is this that mimics carcinoma. Ductectasia is dilated ducts containing secretions and cellular debris. It occurs in parous perimenopausal women and this may present as bloody nipple discharge. The fibrosis can cause nipple retraction and this together with the discharge may mimic cancer. There is a strong association with heavy smoking. This dilated duct containing debris is an example of ductectasia. Breast implants cause a fibrous capsule to develop. The implants may leak and leakage of silicon gel for example causes an inflammatory reaction and a foreign body giant cell response. Here we see an inflammatory and foreign body giant cell response to silicon from a leaking implant.